Welcome back to Henry Kitchen. What are you making today? Well, today we are making corn of the cob soup. And the soup, we're gonna have chicken. And guys, please watch the entire video because this cooking tutorial I'm doing, I'm just showing you guys the way I make stuff in the kitchen. And let's just get straight into the video. Here, I have my corn on the cob in the sink. I have the chicken. And over here I have potato. And I have soup mix and scallion. And over here I have pumpkin and carrot. And then I have uh, dasheen and I have yam. So let's get focus on getting the chicken ready. So what we are doing, we are gonna de-skin the chicken. I start some already, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. So you have to just take this part off. You wanna get the skin off and the fat because that extra oil from the fat just like that your chicken supposed to look just like this now I'm gonna wash my chicken and you always want to wash chicken because chicken can cause salmonella poisoning so now we're just gonna wash the chicken so you just wanna fill up your bowl And then we're gonna add some lime juice. You can use vinegar, but we're just gonna use lime juice because we're making soup. And the reason why we run the tap water again is just to get the lime juice out of the chicken now. See it? Now our chicken is clean, so I'm just gonna set the chicken out of the way. And now we're gonna get our corn ready for this corn and the cob soup. So I'm gonna peel my corn and just get the skin off. And then I'm just gonna rest it into the sink. Now we are on the final one. Just getting all the skins off and the corn tassel. And now what we're gonna do, we're gonna get these hens off. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna just gonna snap it with your hand and just break it in half. So as soon as we get our corn cut up, we're just gonna wash our corn. Now that our corn is finished, I'm just gonna spin this. I'm just gonna drain the water from the corn. And then I'm gonna set my corn out of the way. Now we're gonna peel our dash in. And simple, you just wanna cut, just like that, cut the head off. Then you wanna cut the tip off as well. And then you're just gonna go down the sides. This corn and the cup soup is gonna be so yummy with all of these ground provision that we put inside there. And guys, this recipe right here, I'm telling you, this recipe is good and I hope you guys are following along. You just visit your local store, you can get your dash in. And now we're gonna peel our yam. So we're just going to use the same container and this is yellow yam but when you have this in like soup oh it's yummy so you just want to cut that part off and get this little bit out the yam should look just like this when it's finished peeling. So now we're just gonna cut up our yam. So we're just gonna run it down the middle, just like that. You just wanna get your yam in some nice bite-sized cube, just like that. And 
same thing with the dashin. This is what gonna give the soup body. Then you're just gonna wash your yam and dashi. Then you're gonna add water to the yam and dashi. And the reason why we add water to the yam and dashi, you don't want the yam to stain to make the yam start to change color and it's gonna change color real fast. Now our yam is and dashi is clean, so we're just gonna set it out of the way. Now we are gonna cut up the potatoes. And we're just gonna have them in the same container. And we're just gonna have them with our yam. And then we cut up our carrot. I have the carrot peeled and washed already. Same with the pumpkin. And over here, I have my pumpkin already cut up. So we're just gonna set those out of the way. And now, I have two cups of flour and you cannot make soup without dumpling. So I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt. And now I'm just gonna mix my salt into the flour. And then we're gonna add water. So the concept of making dumpling, you have to add water in the flour and then you have to knead it into a dough, just like this. And now we are in the final stretch with our dough. Then our dough is complete. So I'm just gonna set this out of the way. I have the pot on the stove and the pot is bubbling. I'm just gonna add a tablespoon of pimento, just like that. And then I'm gonna add my chicken. And then I'm gonna add a tablespoon of salt. Just like that. And then I'm gonna place my cover on and just make this simmer for a bit. And now I'm gonna add a tablespoon of soup mix. Followed by my green onion. I just want to break them into the pot, just like that. And then we're going to add fresh thyme as well. And then I'm going to place the lid on. Just to make the chicken absorb the seasoning and the soup mix and with the green onion. Now we make the chicken simmer down in the pot. So now it's time to add the dumpling. So I'm just going to remove the lid and I'm going to show you guys and there's two type of dumpling I'm going to put inside here I'm going to show you guys how to make the flat one so you just roll your flour around just like this and you just press it's supposed to look nice and round I'm going to show you guys the normal spinners just like that And then I'm gonna do another round dumpling. And 
and that's how you make round dumpling for the soup. I'm just gonna make the rest of the dumpling and add to the soup and I'll show you guys the next step. Now we're gonna add the yam and our potatoes. So I'm gonna add the potatoes first. And then I'm gonna add the yam with the dashi. And remember guys, this is what's gonna give the soup body and then thicken up the soup. Just like that. Don't create any splash because you don't want to get burnt. And we're going to add our corn. And remember, we are making corn on the cob soup. I'm just going to turn it over so you guys can see. Now we're gonna add our carrot and then we're gonna add the pumpkin. And this is what's gonna bring color and vibrant to the soup. Now we're gonna add chicken noodle soup mix. And you can find these at your local grocery store. Now we're gonna have three pots because of the quantity of soup we are making. Then we're just gonna stir it in. You just wanna sink it just like that. Are you gonna change the whole dynamic of the soup? This is a massive pot of sign on the cob soup. And then we're gonna place the cover on and just make our soup simmer. Now I'm gonna check on the soup. I'm just gonna make a stir. Check it out guys. And while I'm here, I'm gonna do a quick taste. soup tastes it so good so I'm just gonna make the soup simmer for another five minutes and then I'll come back and check now it's been over five minutes I'm just gonna check on my soup and check it out guys my corn on the cob soup is finished cooking and guys let's look at the corn look at all the goodness of everything inside the soup now I'm gonna make myself a plate and I'm gonna see you guys for the taste test. Now I have my corn and the cob soup on a plate and guys, check it out. It's so delicious and I have chicken inside here and I have yam and dumpling and we have dasheen and, and potatoes and all the goodness inside here and I'm going in for the taste test. This soup is so delicious. I'm gonna try the chicken. And guys, I'm telling you, everything inside here and this soup is actually a healthy soup with everything. And you need to have soup every day. And this is how I make corn and the cob soup. And guys, you know what again? You see, all the goodness is inside here and carrots and everything and don't forget to like share and subscribe and also hit the notification bell and guys thanks for watching